Welcome back to Expo Hub channel. We are into exercise number 57 and this exercise is going to be very very interesting. And I am telling you all these exercises I am bringing and I am pretty sure with all these exercises once completed you will be pretty confident appearing in an interview. So let's see what is the question for today. So the question is how will you download multiple files from a website? Okay, so downloading a single file is quite easy. I mean, you can use a click activity and download it. But again, if there are multiple files, let's say there are 50, 100 files, 200 files you have to download, then you will not use click activity 100 times, right? You will not click use the click activity several times. So there has to be some way to download multiple files. So do you know what is it? So if this is asked in your interview, how will you download multiple files? So what will you answer? Do you know what is the logic? How to answer? Okay. For you to experiment, for you to learn this, you should use this particular site. And let me tell you, this is a quite a longer link. But let me tell you, how do you open that specific link? So first of all, you go to Acme homepage. Okay. Go to Acme homepage. So from this homepage, all you do, go to, go to, go to uh, something called healthcare. Do you see? Healthcare. Okay, so go to healthcare and click on download daily appointment. Click on download daily appointment and this is the page which will give you that option to download multiple files. If you see if I go to multiple pages, there are multiple files available here in the in the page, right? So there are multiple files available. So how do I download all these files is something we have to learn. Okay, so first of all, let me open a blank project. And here, uh, let me use. So I'm using the modern design. You can use classic design also. Doesn't matter. So what I'm doing? First of all, let me open that particular portal from where I'll be downloading the files. For that, I'll be using use application browser activity or use browser activity in classic. And then click on indicate application. And I'm going to indicate this particular application. Done. So now what happened? It understood where it should download the files or where those files are available now the next thing in classic design you have something called screen scraping right screen scraping will be there if you are in the modern design you have something called table extraction so i'll be using table extraction because i am in modern design if you are using classic design you can use this screen scraping there will be another option screen scraping data scraping so go for screen scraping so here i am using the table extraction and here the first thing it is going to it is i mean the screen scraping wizard also appears same as it is appearing in the modern design now here it is asking me hit on next and i have to indicate an element so this is the place where if i click on it the files will get downloaded so i am going to indicate the first element would you like to extract all the columns from the table i would say no i don't want other tables again hit on next to create a pattern so i have to show it what is the pattern right so i am going to hit on next and i am going to highlight another element similar element so now it has understood the entire pattern okay now i don't want the column name i just want the url so i will uncheck this and i will simply say url okay so it's going to extract the url of all of this and hit on next And if you like to uh, span it, if it is there in multiple pages, you can click on finish and it is going to prompt you. Uh, identify the element that navigates to next page. It could be next button or not. So if there is a next button, so I'll click on yes and I can use this button. So it is going to click on that button once it downloads required files from the first page. It will go to the second page. So it is understood, right? So let me tell you why am I doing this? If you see wherever there is a hyperlink on a web web portal generally uh, generally when you click on download that associated with a link okay if you click on copy link address by doing a right click and go over here and try to open that url completely it what it does it downloads that particular file if you see right it is downloading that particular file so i'm using that particular logic so i'm trying to extract the url of all these download files and i'm going to apply and logic so what i have done here so now i have opened it okay after opening it sorry there are two two urls 
okay so this is the one so use application browser i have opened it and then i have used the extract table data activity using the table extraction method and then i am downloading the urls okay so now what i will do i am going to save it to a data table so go to properties and here you have something called uh, targeting method or extract metadata selector targeting method fuzzy selector let's scroll down okay so there is something called data table here okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to click on control plus k and going to create a data table called dt1 and hit on enter okay so my data table got created so what would happen this data table is going to store all the urls of all the links very simple then let's quickly use a for each row okay and here i'm using the data table one and then i will use a open browser activity open browser activity and here in the open browser activity i will simply say row because the data table is only having one column data right so i will simply say row 0 dot two string or row in the bracket double quote url also you can say so by that it is going to download so let's save it let's close all our tabs okay and let's run it let's see if it is downloading all the files so what would happen now um, one second before you try to do that also because i want to download in the google chrome option uh, in the open browser activity go to properties and here all you do is select the browser type as chrome okay so that it opens in chrome so let's run it so what would happen now let me close this okay it has open acme page that specific page and it is going to extract all the urls and upon extracting all the urls the for each row is going to run and it's going to open each url one by one okay so it's going to because i said spanning uh, over the page it is going to extract almost 100 data And, and to reduce the total time spent so if you see it is taking a lot of time uh, for demonstration purpose i will do little bit of modification i will go to extract table data go to the properties and instead of extracting all the 100 data so you maximum result 100 so let me limit it to let's say 5 okay maximum results 5 um, so that it can be a little quicker let me close it okay first of all it has opened the page now it started downloading just to save little time so you can see it is if you look at my screen it is downloading one by one it is opening each url the moment it opens it gets downloaded so now the question is once it gets downloaded one two three so it has downloaded one two three four files it has downloaded now let's say uh, you know you you wanted to store all these files in a specific folder so one way you can do is control the browser property so in the browser downloads you have the browser chrome itself it by default it downloads to the downloads folder you want to change it you can always do it on the chrome browser otherwise once everything is downloaded you can use the move file activity and then you know collect all these files into a folder and move it to a specific folder so all these logics can be built separately but again the main objective of this question was how will you download so your answer is you can use the screen scraping or in modern design you can use the table extraction option and using that option you can extract the urls of all those files right urls of all those files into a data table and you can run a for each loop for each row loop and then you start opening each of those links and that that gets downloaded okay and we can build extra logics to store it in a specific file or folder okay that can also be built but again i want you to build that 
in case you are interested to know how I can move it, you can always do it. Okay. So thank you so much for watching this and I hope this particular knowledge must have helped you to understand how, how you have the option to download multiple files from a browser or from a portal so thank you so much for watching this we are going to come up with more such interesting contents for you which is going to enhance your knowledge and i'm pretty sure going through all the exercises that's going to build and give you the amount of confidence that you need before appearing for an interview thank you so much guys we are going to meet in our next video Bye bye